Pie here and today I am back with another Halloween themed video. Today I am going to be making these little lollipop ghosts and I'm going to be making uh, creepy little hand gloves with uh, blood splatters on them and I'm filling them with candy. So the things you'll need, you'll need obviously a bag of lollipops, you need tissue because that's how you make the little ghosts, you need some Halloween themed ribbon for the first one and just some markers to draw little eyes on them. So that's pretty simple for the first one. And for the second one, you need like the cleaner, like multi-purpose gloves, the Hercules ones, what I got, and just a bunch of assorted different Halloween lollies. And you basically just shove them all inside, tie it up, and then I'm gonna get some fake blood and blood splatter all over to make it look a bit creepy. And then you just put them in your little Halloween themed bowl and you're all done. But yeah. Let's get started for the first one. We are going to be making some little Halloween ghosts. And what you need to do is you just get, funny enough, you can use tissues for this. And I'll move these up so you can actually see. So basically you just get one sheet of a tissue and you cut out, get like a spare tissue. As you can tell, I made one to test already, which I don't know where it is. Here it is. Here was the test one that I made little spooky little ghost guy so they're pretty cute and I'll put that there anyways back to the explanation so you just get one normal sheet of tissue which I've got here and then you cut like a smaller square to go on top good enough roughly a square and you basically just place that in the middle so there's like two different layers. There's like the bigger piece and then the smaller piece. And the reason for that is so you can kind of hide the color of the lollipop more so it looks a bit more spooky like. So then you place the lollipop in the middle like that. Basically you wrap it around and as you can tell it kind of already gives the voice vibe just from wrapping them around like that. And then after that you want to get I've got two colored ribbons. I've got black and purple because I couldn't find orange. So I decided to go with purple. Probably maybe cut it about that long because you need to like double knot it and then like tie a bow with both of them. So maybe about that long. And then you cut the same length for the other one or roughly the same length because you can always just shorten them up or edit it depending on. So then you want to get your two bits of ribbon, like this. And basically all you need to do is make sure, try and, trying to hold it secure at the same time as you go, and you basically just tie a knot and a bow on it, which is not, not too hard, but obviously a little bit hard because you're using two ribbons. And you want to do a very tight secure knot so it kind of stays together and as you can tell already it kind of looks like a spooky little ghost it's just something simple that i found online and figured well that would probably work and also if you're wondering about all of this i um bought them from big w it's like face stickers that you stick on and then i just added lipstick and bought this little headband and i'm actually going for a shoot this afternoon so i figured may as well get all ready now and then just do it for the video and then just head to the shoot afterwards so stay tuned for that on my facebook and instagram i will post photos of it <laughs> when i get them back of course i can't believe halloween's next week it's like so close so then you just want to tie a bow or attempt to tie a bow because my bow is pretty messy i will try that again Okay, so there's my bow. So basically you want to tie a little bow. And obviously there's these little like stringy bits that are hanging out. So you just get them to the same length and chop. Yeah, I guess that's it. And then you just get a permanent marker and you just jot on two circular like little dots and then yeah 
That's pretty much it. Then you've got a little ghost. Obviously, you can tie the bow a bit better. I'm not really too concerned because I'm just going to be giving these to the trick or treaters. But yeah, then you get these little cute little Halloween ghosts. And they're cute. And so, obviously, I'm going to give them to the trick or treaters if we get some this year which I don't even know because all the kids around my neighborhood, we've all grown up and we don't go trick-or-treating anymore. So I'll have to see, but hey, maybe they'll love them, maybe they won't. They're probably gonna ask what they are and I say, I'll just tell them that they're little cute lollipop goes. So basically you just keep repeating that until you have like a whole bunch of them. And then, yeah, and then you're pretty much, you're done with that one, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make another bunch of them now. Take it easy, there's no need to scream and shout. As far as I can see, my head. I think it's time for you to be with yourself. As far as I can see, my head. I think it's time bunch of them and then I'm guessing you would put them in your Halloween bowl amongst with all the other candies which would be easy but yeah there's the first part so yeah cute little ghosts <laughs> okay so for the second project I'll just move some of this stuff out of the way we don't need the tissues we don't need the ghosts don't need the lollipops anymore don't need the pens okay so for the second project you are going to need a uh, multi-purpose, like little surgical kind of gloves, I want to call them. And it's basically pretty, this one's more of a simple one. So you want to grab one of these out. And obviously I'm not going to use a whole box full. And basically you're just going to open up a whole bunch of different candies that you want to put in them. Which I will do now. We got, we've got those things, we got these that everyone loves as a kid, we've got some Halloween spooky themed ones, we've got some little Halloween chocolates as well, we've got, yeah, basic Mentos, because who doesn't love Mentos, and I've also got some mixed boiled lollies, so I'm just going to insert, I guess, some of each into the gloves. And obviously when uh, doing this, I would suggest that you pick all things that are wrapped because I wouldn't want to put any like just jellies or chocolates because they could melt or they could get all sticky and gross because everything's all like pushed together. You probably wouldn't want something like that in the hands because if, you know, it gets a bit hot as it does over here in Australia and things start to melt, then it's just gonna become a real mess and I don't think anyone wants that. Okay, so we've got something open for all of them. And now I'm just to start start putting them in, I guess. I think, if I watched it in the video anyway. You've just gotta insert them all into the glove. Go. 
Yeah, I'm just doing this. I know it's it's a real mess, just flirting them all out everywhere, but it makes it a bit easier to put them all in. And yeah, you just basically start to shove all the candies in there. Obviously, I want to use these guys for the base of the fingers because they're like long and they can actually fit in the fingers. Which means I probably should have bought more of these, but that's okay. I could probably do a mix because I've got these as well. These little chocolates that will probably fit into the fingers as well. And yeah, so you basically just keep doing that and filling it until it's roughly full. That's roughly pretty full because I don't want to waste too many candies to make that. And I guess, oh, I do need the ribbon. I lied. I said I didn't need it. All you have to do is just get a piece of ribbon. Where's my scissors? I just had them. Oh, they're here. Got the scissors. Just cut a bit and then tie it closed. It is a hot day today and I am not enjoying this at all. So yeah, you tie that shirt, do a little bow again. So yeah, there's that. That's the first hand. And basically you just repeat the thing several, you repeat that several times, which I'm about to do. And then at the end, I'm going to head outside just for when I'm um, gonna splatter the fake blood on it. I don't really wanna get it everywhere. So I'll do that part at the end, but yeah. like the sweat's getting to these stickers <laughs> but yeah i uh, will cut back in a second when we get all of these sorted hey guys i'm back and we are currently outside i've just set up the uh gloves on the floor with the thing with the parchment stuff over the top so i don't stain blood everywhere and all i've done is just squeezed like a little bit of fake blood and i'm just gonna dip my brush into it and just flick it all over the gloves but yeah it is so hot out 
Okay, guys, so yeah, as you can tell, these are all the gloves I've just laid out. Just so, obviously, in this I've got so I don't get paint everywhere. So all I'm doing is just dipping this in the fake blood. And then I'm just gonna... Oh. Well, this blight fake blood isn't really how I'm gonna want it. Okay, we're gonna have to crouch down and do this because this is actually not... Wow, this actually, this stuff is like not even as liquid as I thought. It's like really solid. So I'm just gonna have to do it like this, I guess, which is not even working that well. Oh, there we go. Oh, that missed. I'm missing quite a bit, but... Okay. I'm gonna try. Need to put some more of the fake blood into this. So it turns out I need a lot more than I thought. So hopefully with that, that'll go a bit better now. Okay, so let's do this. You really have to goop it on to make it do what you want it to. And you kind of got to do it yourself as well. So yeah, as you can tell, this makes a real mess. So a lot of my splatters are actually going over what I want to, so I'm just going to make do a little bit like this. And yeah, I think, I think that's a solid, I think that's a solid, so yeah, they're all covered in some spoofy blood and I guess that's it for this video, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so as you just saw from that footage, I finished blood, blood splattering up all of the, the hands and I guess that's really it for the video. We made a whole bunch of uh, spooky lollipop ghosts and a bunch of the uh, bloody hand gloves filled with candies, which obviously they're outside drying right now because I don't want to touch the blood. I want it to let it dry out properly so it looks better. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, Please let me know below and please do like, comment, or just subscribe. If you want me to do any type of videos, any suggestions, I'm all up for any suggestions, so also put those below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!